Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Razor editing in Reaper. Now, the best way to explain how Razor editing works is to show how to edit in Reaper before adding this new feature. For example, I have a project set up here with a bunch of drum and vocal items on two different tracks. And if we wanted to edit these items, we would select them, maybe delete them, or cut them, or copy them, and paste them to other places. And we could also just move them by dragging them. Just grab it and move it and place it somewhere else, or duplicate it with a modifier. Control on the PC, Command on the Mac, and just duplicate this item to another place. And we could also stretch the item, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just grab the side of it to stretch it shorter or longer. And this is based on items. And we can do the same thing with multiple items. We can select by holding down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and just select multiple items or lasso them by right click dragging like this. And that marquee selects them and do the same thing delete them or cut them or copy them and paste them somewhere else. Or move them by dragging them, or duplicate them with the modifier, or again, stretching them like this. But let's say we wanted to work on just an area between items, maybe from here to here. Well, we could split the items, type S to split the items, and then select it that way. But that's an extra step. Or we could use time selections. Go to our ruler and select the area we want to edit up here or in the space above the items, like here, to create a time selection, and then select the items afterwards. But now, if we hit delete, it deletes the items completely instead of just within the time selection. So, what we have to do is choose instead of cut and copy from here, choose cut within time selection or copy within time selection from over here. And if we choose those, it can cut or copy just within the time selection. But as you can see, this takes a bit longer. And that's where razor editing comes in. So with razor editing, we could just select a certain area and just edit within it. So on PC, we'll hold down Alt, and on Mac, hold down Option. And just right click, drag to create a razor edit. And notice the cursor changes to look like a razor. Let go. And now we've created a razor edit. And it's going to work very similar to an item. We can grab it and move it, duplicate it by holding down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac, and duplicate it somewhere else, maybe on a different track. Or just delete it, or cut it, or even copy and paste it. And it's just going to paste that area we selected. And we could also time stretch the area. Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and stretch it this way, or this way, using time stretch markers. And we could select things across tracks. Just drag from here all the way down, and it'll do the same thing the same way. Delete it, cut it, copy it, and paste it, or move it, or duplicate it, or time stretch it right here. But what's even more useful is we can create multiple razor edits. Just create one like this and add shift to the modifiers. So on PC, it's all shift 
And on Mac, it's Option Shift. And then right click, drag to create multiple Razor edits and on multiple tracks. And now it'll behave the same way. We could delete it, we could cut it, we could copy it and paste it over here. And it only pastes what's in the Razor edit. We can move it, we could duplicate it, and we could even time stretch it. Although with multiple ones, it only time stretches the area we grab. Now we could also go to the edge and trim the razor edits like this on each side and also one by one and not just left or right but also up and down grab right here to add it to multiple tracks or trim it back to just be one track now if we go to the mouse modifiers go to options and choose preferences we could scroll down to mouse modifiers under the context, arrange view and right drag. And we can see the options right here to create razor edits or add to them or create multiple ones. But if we go right here, we can see we could swap the behaviors compared to selecting our items. If we choose this, hit OK. And now if we use razor edits very often, we don't have to hold down a modifier. Just right click, drag to create it, or hold down shift to create multiple ones. In this situation, if you wanted to marquee, select our items, then we'd hold down the modifier. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and marquee select our items. But it's a bit more useful to swap them right here if you tend to use. Razor edits more. But by default, this is off. So we have to hold down the modifier to create or add Razor edits. Now, if we go to the contexts, we can see there's two other options over here to Razor edit the edge right here, to move the edges, hold down Shift to move them, ignoring Snap, and stretch them like I showed you before. With and without snapping by adding shift to the modifiers. But we could also choose razor edit area. And we could choose left drag or left click. Let's start with left click. And here's some modifiers that are going to work by default. Of course, you could change them if you prefer. If we create a razor edit like this, if we hold down shift and click the razor edit, it's going to split the items based on the border and then select just those items. So I could hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and change the timing of those items based on the Razor Edit. Now, if we hold down Control on the PC or Command on the Mac and click it, it moves the Razor Edit forward based on its size. Go forward or hold down Control Shift on the PC or Command Shift on the Mac. To go back by that length, forward or backwards. Now, if we create multiple razor edits like this, we could delete them with modifiers, either one at a time by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just clicking them one at a time, or delete them all by adding in Shift. Alt Shift on the PC or Option Shift on the Mac that deletes them all together. So those are the left click mouse modifiers by default. But we also have left drag modifiers. And the ones up here I've already showed you to move or move without snap by adding in Shift or Copy or Copy without snap. But the ones down here work with our envelopes which is a whole other use for razor editing. Let's go to a different project. This project is pretty much the same as the other one as far as media, but I added a volume and a pan envelope to each track just to show you the envelopes. 
Now, by default, this option over here is turned on. If we right click it, we could see it's going to move envelope points with media items and razor edits. So, with this turned on, and we create a razor edit like this, it includes the envelopes in that selection, which again is on by default. So, if we delete it, it deletes the envelopes and their points as well. Or if we cut it, or if we copy it and paste it over here, it pastes the media and the envelopes together. Or if we move it like this, or duplicate it like this, it moves the envelopes and their points with the media. But if we don't want that behavior, we can just turn it off right here, make a razor edit, and it only selects the media. So if we delete it, it doesn't affect our envelopes or their points. Or if we cut it, or if we copy it and paste it over here, it doesn't paste the envelopes or their points. Or if we move it or duplicate it, it just moves the media not the envelopes. But we could still change it afterwards by trimming it right here to grab just the envelopes we want. Maybe just the volume, or if we just want the pan, we could hold on Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, to unselect the volume and just choose the pan or any envelopes we want. But we could also just choose envelopes. Like the volume envelope, create a razor edit right here, or the pan envelope, or both by selecting both and move those together or separately. Now, by default, if we move things to other tracks, let's turn this back on. If we move this to this track, it moves the volume envelope to the volume envelope and the pan envelope to the pan envelope. And it's the same if we just grab the envelopes. Grab the volume and drag it down here. It goes to the volume envelope. We can't drag it to the pan, either here or up here. It's only going to go to the same envelope type, which is typically what we want. So Reaper makes it harder to make mistakes. But if you want that behavior, we can just hold down a modifier. Right over here, move areas ignoring envelope type. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac. And now we can drag the volume envelope to the pan envelope. Or duplicate it to different envelope types. On different tracks, the same way volume or pan. So now we can put it on any envelope we want. But in most situations, we're going to want to use the same envelope type. So without the modifier, if we drag it to here, it's not going to work. It'll work here on the volume envelope, but not the pan one. And the same with the pan. We can't move it to the volume or the volume down here, but we can to the pan. So that's pretty much it. That's razor editing in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.